Yeah. Yeah. Just incredible. Um, you know, what a game, what a win, um, to, to dig ourselves out of that hole and, uh, to, to see all of our young guys competing the way they did, um, you know, our two, two rookies coming through in a big way, um, both two way guys, uh, <clears throat> making huge impacts on the game, Chioza and, uh, and Quindary, um, just a, an incredible team win. Obviously everybody played well, Jordan, Damien, they both hit huge shots, uh, you know, Juan and Loon, um, just a really, really fun win for the team. Our, our vets who didn't play are so excited in there and, uh, just a, uh, a fantastic game and a fantastic win for us. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. I think he, I think uh, Jonathan just kept playing. You know that was the big thing, and and uh, that's a great lesson for him. You know, as a rookie, things are um, up and down. Uh, they will be from game to game, and they sometimes are even within a game. And uh, tonight was a great lesson for him that if you just keep competing and playing hard, then the game can turn. And I'm really proud of him because uh, you know, the last couple of games haven't gone well for him, and uh, he stayed with it and was just a huge factor, uh, particularly in that second half. Made some uh, massive plays, really good passes, uh, which is uh, really important. You know, he draws so much attention that when he passes the ball, good things happen for us. And then I thought Moses, um, you know, not just the, the shooting and the scoring, but diving on the floor late in the game, fighting for every uh, loose ball, offensive rebound. Uh, Moses is a competitor and a winner, and uh, we're lucky to have uh, both those, those young guys. Gary he hit his shin uh, on a railing, I think he said, or maybe it was a chair. So he he was in quite a bit of pain. Uh, hopefully it's nothing too serious, but uh, we won't know yet uh, until he gets reevaluated. What was it like for you well, it's what you want and, and um, what you ask, uh, you know, sometimes uh, in this league, uh, you know, you get a, a team that's tired and, you know, has played a lot of games. And uh, when you put your young guys out there, um, you know, in a, in a, with a schedule like this and guys beating up, um, that's what you get. You get the energy and the effort and you just don't know if shots are going to go in. And, uh, I loved our effort. And, um, you know, the fact that we made 20 threes without Steph, Clay, Otto, you know, down the line, Andrew belly, um, uh, pretty remarkable performance by our guys because, uh, the Spurs played a great, great game. I mean, they couldn't miss themselves. It was, uh, really, a. uh, a phenomenal NBA game. Uh, I, I think we're really lucky and blessed to have uh, great mentors on our on our team. Um, you know, between uh, you know Steph and Clay and Loon and uh, Draymond and Andre. You know, we have guys who have been through this, and they are really invested in our young players' future. And um, that's pretty unique and, and crucial. And uh, I think it's, uh, you know, the, uh, it shows you the, the kind of commitment that our, our players have and what, what kind of character they have. They really care about these young guys. They want to bring them along the right way. And uh, our coaching staff is, is doing a great job working hard with these, these young guys and trying to teach them and bring them along. And, our Santa Cruz uh, staff has has worked really hard with both J.K. and Moses and and Cheese and and uh, Quindary uh, as well. It's really a, an organizational success in my mind that uh, we've been able to balance you know winning now at, at you know 39 and 13, and um, you know still trying to develop these guys for the future. How excited does the night tonight make you for what this team can look like in three? Yeah, I mean, that's that's uh, that's the whole idea. We we want 
we want this franchise to be special. We want it to be great um, for a long time. Um, I know I want it. I want this team to succeed long after I'm gone from coaching. And I think you know all of our veteran players feel the same way. We we feel like there's been a a, a legacy that's been established here that we're all very proud of um, taking part in. in and uh, we want that to continue. So we have a lot of pride in bringing along our, our young guys. So uh, tonight was a, a a great high for us. There will be plenty of lows ahead. We all know that. And we just have to keep keep pushing forward. Yeah, I mean, that, you know, everybody knows Pop is my mentor in, in coaching. Um, and the Spurs are the model for everybody in the NBA. And uh, I think what they were able to do every every time I walk into this building, I look at the banners that are up there and the fact that they won uh, titles with the same group in 2007 and then 2014. That seven year gap, and then they won. You know, they all that time in between titles, um, they were developing, growing, working, winning, losing, um, everything in between, and they just build something so special that it was able, they were able to withstand all the ups and downs and it's not easy to do. That's what we're trying to do uh, here. I'm not sure anybody's been able to do it and we have a long way to go if we want to match that, but that's the, that's the goal is to, is to be like, uh, like those guys down the hall. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. It's a, it's Santa Cruz is a huge part of our operation, and uh, we take a lot of pride in in the development process. And uh, you know, we don't get everything right, but we we keep uh, working. And and the main thing is the the players and the coaches uh, are all. Um, connected you know whether they're here or there we're, we're running the same stuff or we're giving the same messages uh so that when we bring up you know quindary or, or or cheese or we send our rookies uh, to santa cruz uh it's pretty seamless and that's really important in terms of our success here in golden state all right thanks